Okay, so just want to run you through uh, my workflow for coming um, from Character Creator 3, but it could be any model, I guess, and uh, into Unity using um, this human shader pack, um, which is really cool, even though it has pretty ugly promotional pictures. Um, it's a nice balance between performance and kind of the look that it gives you. So I'm um, just going to show you how I go about setting up um, the shader. I've ended up, it's got a number of shader variants. I've ended up using the simple SSS6. I'm not really sure what the difference is between each of them. Um, I think I started with the female base head from the demo. Um, and then just literally I'm adding in uh, my own maps um, although in this case so here I've done like a little trick I'll show you what that is so the original diffuse is there um, but what I've done is I've baked in the AO so you can see the difference it just, just adds a little bit of curvature and helps around say the nose and it means that by baking it into the diffuse map you, you're not using well one there isn't a slot on the shader but if you were using a shader with an AOS um, channel it, you're not using extra texture memory you can just bake it straight in um, so how do you do that I, it's actually really really super simple um, that's the diffuse I've just loaded in Photoshop um, that's the AO control A Control C and then Shift Control V to paste in place. I've actually done it before, and set the channel to multiply. Um, so that's without, that's within, and then save as you know, um, a, a different file. Or if you want to, I mean, I personally wouldn't override the diffuse. I tend to save it as diffuse with AO, and then you've always got the choice of going back. That's, yeah, that's a nice little trick. Um, so, Abido is simple enough. Um, normal map, as you'd expect, comes from in here. The metal gloss uh, is the PBR texture. It's actually, by default, they all live in this folder. Um, Character Creator has this kind of slightly weird folder texture. It's got all of these extra maps that, as it gets imported, depending on which render pipeline you're in, um, and they kind of you know go into the materials, uh, but I tend to copy and paste or move them into the .fbm folder, which is the FBX uh, texture assets. Um, to make sure when you export from Unity, I think the preset, the character creator Unity preset, will not embed the textures, which is what you want because you want them separate. Um, so that's where the metal gloss comes from. Then there's the uh, subsurface scattering texture and weight uh, map and it, it has the texture but also the weight of how much um, subsurface scattering should there be and that's in the alpha channel and I'll show you how I make that one. Um, So this is actually, again, I start with the diffuse, same, um, although you'll notice I've stacked the arms and the body because you will want to do all of those, I assume, otherwise you're going to have like weird differences in colour um, between the, you know, on the neck, between the neck and the rest of the body or, or the arms. And I'm just going to show you the process just for this map, just for the, the head. Uh, and I, all I do is I add um, an adjustment layer, hue and saturation, change it to taste, do what you know, you can mess around with that. Um, but essentially what you're trying to get is the colouring of the blood under the skin. So that's what subsurface scattering is, is that translucency of skin. Um, and so that this is just kind of a red, kind of like the, the veins under the skin. And the weight is an alpha channel. So by default, you won't have one 
from the diffuse so just go into the channels and plus and then that gives you an alpha channel and what you paste in here um, it's actually I go back to unity in that funny folder that character creator creates for you there is actually oh no, we had head uh, that's the body uh, SSS map this it's actually there for you to use now the problem is if you use that on its own go back to the original it's pretty washed out I would say and you end up with a kind of a glowy face but no real detailing in the way the SSS uh, can kind of you know bring things alive so personally and again this is uh, you know just a taste uh, delete that uh, personally I add up oh, an adjustment layer I use levels just to play around with um, you know it's up to you. you you decide what works for you and for your lighting for your character but <clears throat> um, I just bring out the contrast um, this is pretty extreme actually um, probably that's a more yeah that's probably a better <laughs> that's a better level um, and also don't feel shy about kind of you know literally painting on top so you know if I take this is what I've done on here but I, all I did was create a layer and just paint a little bit if you're finding you know there's too much around the eyes for example that would get rid of some of the subsurface so it's essentially dark no subsurface scattering white lots of subsurface scattering so I'll do my subtle one yeah definitely needs for me it needs it's too much around the eyes it kind of glows weirdly in unity if you don't have that so get rid of this channel layer that we don't need now it's a little photoshop trick i could you know select those and merge layers or merge visible and then take the result which essentially kind of you know gives you rather than just giving you this it gives you everything but if you do shift control a e it essentially merges into a new layer that layer here is the result of everything that was selected super useful uh, little trick shift control a e um, so now that I've got that I can copy it um, go back into that alpha channel that we created shift control v paste in place so that's now the alpha for this map deselect it go back to layers um, and we need to save this uh, file including the alpha layer i find the easiest way to do that is to save as a tiff So again I save in the um, FBM folder with all the rest of the textures. I will have will I write it man I'm gonna do a version two and then we can compare. Save. Uh, when you save the TIFF you've got options of compression. I'd say none simply because you're best letting Unity handle that. Um, but do change to discard layers and save a copy there's no point having all these layers uh, left in place and that's that um. any maps although i can crunch down here to 2k um, Okay, so that's in. So you can see now our other one. Try it. Yeah, so you can see here because it was slightly, it's very subtle, but it's less. Um, it's, 
so the this one had more contrast so it will be there'll be lots of subsurface scattering around the ears but not so much around all of the face and this gives the whole face a bit more of a glow and you can mess around with it um, get a feel for it just by you know using your slider but actually the easiest way maybe to find what that's doing for you is to currently I'm not actually lit but to actually go into a bit of an extreme lighting condition you know as you're kind of moving your light from what would be normal to behind you can see the lighting behind there. I mean this is pretty extreme and, and you've got um, so control over the amount of backlight how that's affected uh, how much the light is scattered or not and the scale of it you know, kind of see so you've got some details and adjustability light bias is useful as well if you want to keep things natural just so you could mess around with things on the alpha channel to, to do essentially what I'm doing here but this gives you some nice tweaking uh, after the fact yeah that looks quite good now you got kind of I think that's where it, my one it's probably going to be slightly less yeah so that that's why I was doing mine slightly more I guess subtle rather than having the kind of this wash out you can see that to me that just makes it glow too much so I'm gonna stick with my original but you still get the benefit of the subsurface scattering and you can see the difference you know between this and the pasty look of the character creator and, and no light at all through the ears so there's definitely a big big difference right so that's I guess that's the main reason that I use it for this but also actually the micro detail map so I'm using um, a map from the pack itself it literally is just a kind of a tiling uh, skin pore normal map texture which I drag into here and then for the weight map again so how much where should that be um, applied that's actually provided for you by character creator it's in that weird texture folder micro n for normal micro normal mask um, again white will have the pores black none gray less you can see around the lips Let's show you exactly there'll be less of that texture Whoa. Um, there's the power if I add the power you can see on the chin for example so a little bit on the lips but mostly it's all around the chin it's, in, it's really useful I think that it kind of um, your hero characters for characters that the player will come really close to it, it gives that kind of detail to, to the face on top of the normal map and then also as a shader it's got nice kind of a smoothness so you can mess around with more or less uh, if you find I often find character creator materials come in just just too smooth So I usually play around with that. Um, I don't know what the rest of these. I've not used the makeup mask. I assume if you want to give lipstick or eye um, makeup on uh, characters, then that's what you would use. And I have no idea what these B channels are for. But there's a final normal map power as well, which is useful. So that's kind of the overall. If you want to tweak your normal. Um, push it up a little bit I think it brings the lips a bit more to life um, and then I guess finally something worth mentioning is I tend to in my um, 
Unity project, I tend to bring down the environment reflections intensity, so it defaults at one, and you get this weird kind of blue tinge round. So you go down just a touch, you know, whatever. 0.7 for me generally, it becomes like a, a more natural tinge, but it'll depend on your lighting conditions. But as you can see, it's a really nice difference between. Um, the default import and bringing in this guy from uh, character creator really hope that's useful it's, a, it's what I'm trying to do with these videos is just showing some of the kind of more like, esoteric details I hate to say to use the word advanced but the stuff that you might not come across um, you know in getting started videos and um, any comments always appreciated it's nice to hear if this is of use to you guys all the best